Today I want to talk to you about simulations for hierarchical design projects. As we've done in Lab 4, we have a hierarchical design. Not only do our parts have multiple outputs, such as the bus output from the seven segment decoders, being a seven bit wide bus, and our MUX being seven inputs in and seven inputs out. We also have our seven outputs set up to seven individual ports. And so <clears throat> along with these ports that are multi-bit buses, we also have internal elements that are multi-bit buses. And oftentimes in our simulator, we want to be able to see the values that are occurring for the elements within these internal signals that are not connected to a port. If we take a look at our simulation, we see that here we have our simulation and we have our switches SW0 through SW7 giving us data that we can see on our simulation. This has all been set up for us. We also have our select line for our MUX SSD select, which we can see in our simulation <clears throat> being the select line, which we are selected using button three. Okay. We also have for outputs, we have those connected to ports A to G seven through zero and AN three through zero. <clears throat> But how do we find out the information that is in the MUX? How do we debug these internal signals, assuming there's an error? Or we just want to know what those values are. One way that we can do that is to, first of all, determine what this MUX uh, number is within the ISC. And it, so if we scroll over it, we see that it is listed as MUX. MUX is actually its name, and we see that it has an input called XLXN1, 6 through 0, and we can find those in our simulation. If we look at our simulation, <clears throat> we see that we have our ports, but we can come over here to these instances, and we can click on, and I'm um, sorry, click on the hierarchical design, click on the UUT, and we begin to see those internal signals. Here is the left seven segment decoder and the right seven segment decoder. Let's just click on the MUX. And so there we have our MUX. <clears throat> we have XLXI1, XLXI2, and so forth. And we know that this MUX being a seven bit MUX, <clears throat> seven inputs from each of the lines A and B, and then seven outputs that we would indeed have these internal structures of individual two to one muxes that we have. And so let's say that we want to look at the data from our mux. How do we go about doing that? Well, we could actually just drag over to our simulation this mux. And so I'll do that and uh, we'll put that in. And we see that we have these bits, A six through zero, B six through zero, we have S being our select line input, and we have O being our output. If we go back and look at our design, our ISC design, we see that those are indeed its names. A, 6 through 0, B, 6 through 0, S is the select line, and O is uh, the 7-bit output. So now let's just take a look at our simulation. <clears throat> We can uh, rerun it. Oh, actually, we don't even have to rerun it. Uh, if we don't have data right now, I have data here. Uh, if you don't have data, you can save it after you've come over, over from the instance and process name and the hierarchical design. You can <coughs> save this. And that sets the temp template. And then when you rerun the simulation, you'll actually get the data. <clears throat> if we zoom in, we see that we have that data now for the inputs to the MUX and the outputs of the MUX, <clears throat> as well as the value for the select line. So this is how you would go about finding the values for the internal elements in the simulation. Thanks for watching.